Associative Algebra, Wikipedia Article Audio In mathematics, an associative algebra is an algebraic structure with compatible operations of addition, multiplication, and a scalar multiplication by elements in some field. The addition and multiplication operations together give A the structure of a ring, the addition and scalar multiplication operations together give A the structure of a vector space over K. In this article we will also use the term K-algebra to mean an associative algebra over the field K. A standard first example of a K-algebra is a ring of square matrices over a field K, with the usual matrix multiplication. In this article associative algebras are assumed to have a multiplicative unit, denoted 1, they are sometimes called unital associative algebras for clarification. In some areas of mathematics this assumption is not made, and we will call such structures non-unital associative algebras. We will also assume that all rings are unital, and all ring homomorphisms are unital. Definition As a monoid object in the category of modules Many authors consider the more general concept of an associative algebra over a commutative ring R, instead of a field, an R algebra is an R module with an associative R bilinear binary operation, which also contains a multiplicative identity. For examples of this concept, if S is any ring with center C, then S is an associative C algebra. Let R be a fixed commutative ring. An associative R algebra is an additive abelian group A which has the structure of both a ring and an R module in such a way that the scalar multiplication satisfies. For all R R and X, Y A. Furthermore, A is assumed to be unital, which is to say it contains an element 1 such that for all x a note that such an element 1 must be unique. In other words, a is an r module together with an r bilinear map a times a a, called the multiplication, and the multiplicative identity, such that the multiplication is associative. From ring homomorphisms For all x, y, and z in a while associativity is a property. By the uniqueness of the multiplicative identity, unitarity is often treated like a property. If one drops the requirement for the associativity, then one obtains a non-associative algebra. If A itself is commutative then it is called a commutative R algebra. Algebra homomorphisms the definition is equivalent to saying that a unital associative R algebra is a monoid object in R mod. By definition, a ring is a monoid object in the category of abelian groups, thus, the notion of an associative algebra is obtained by replacing the category of abelian groups with the category of modules. Pushing this idea further, some authors have introduced a generalized ring as a monoid object in some other category that behaves like the category of modules. Indeed, this reinterpretation allows one to avoid making an explicit reference to elements of an algebra A. For example, the associativity can be expressed as follows. By the universal property of a tensor product of modules, the multiplication corresponds to a unique R linear map. The associativity then refers to the identity. Examples An associative algebra amounts to a ring homomorphism whose image lies in the center. Indeed, starting with a ring A and a ring homomorphism, eta, R, A, whose image lies in the center of A, we can make A an R algebra by defining constructions for all R, R and X, A. If A is an R algebra, taking X equals 1, the same formula in turn defines a ring homomorphism, eta, R, 
A, whose image lies in the center. Colgebras. If A is commutative then the center of A is equal to A, so that a commutative R algebra can be defined simply as a homomorphism, eta, R, A, of commutative rings. The ring homomorphism eta appearing in the above is often called a structure map. In the commutative case, one can consider the category whose objects are ring homomorphisms are A, i.e., commutative R algebras and whose morphisms are ring homomorphisms AA that are under R, i.e., RAA is RA the prime spectrum functor spec then determines an anti-equivalence of this category to the category of affine schemes over spec R. Representations How to weaken the commutativity assumption is a subject matter of non-commutative algebraic geometry and, more recently, of derived algebraic geometry. See also, generic matrix ring. A homomorphism between two R algebras is an R linear ring homomorphism. Explicitly, phi, A, 1, A, 2, backslash to A, is an associative algebra homomorphism if the class of all R algebras together with algebra homomorphisms between them form a category, sometimes denoted R alg. The subcategory of commutative R algebras can be characterized as the costless category R slash Kring where Kring is the category of commutative rings. The most basic example is a ring itself, it is an algebra over its center or any subring lying in the center. In particular, any commutative ring is an algebra over any of its subrings. Other examples abound both from algebra and other fields of mathematics. Motivation for a Hopf algebra Algebra Motivation for a Lie algebra Representation theory Any ring A can be considered as a Z algebra. The unique ring homomorphism from Z to A is determined by the fact that it must send one to the identity in A. Therefore, rings and Z algebras are equivalent concepts, in the same way that abelian groups and Z modules are equivalent, any ring of characteristic N is A algebra in the same way, given an R module M, the endomorphism ring of M, denoted end R is an R algebra by defining equals R phi dot, any ring of matrices with coefficients in a commutative ring R forms an R algebra under matrix addition and multiplication. This coincides with the previous example when M is a finitely generated, free R module, the square N by N matrices with entries from the field K form an associative algebra over K. In particular, the 2 times 2 real matrices form an associative algebra useful in plane mapping, the complex numbers form a two-dimensional associative algebra over the real numbers, the quaternions form a four-dimensional associative algebra over the reals, the polynomials with real coefficients form an associative algebra over the reals, every polynomial ring R is a commutative R algebra. In fact, this is the free commutative R algebra on the set. The free R algebra on a set E is an algebra of polynomials with coefficients in R and non-commuting indeterminates taken from the set E. The tensor algebra of an R module is naturally an R algebra. The same is true for quotients such as the exterior and symmetric algebras. Categorically speaking, the functor which maps an R module to its tensor algebra is left adjoint to the functor which sends an R algebra to its underlying R module, given a commutative ring R and any ring A the tensor product RZ A can be given the structure of an R algebra by defining R equals. The functor which sends A to RZ A is left adjoint to the functor which sends an R algebra to its underlying ring. Analysis Geometry and Combinatorics 
The universal enveloping algebra of a Lie algebra is an associative algebra that can be used to study the given Lie algebra, if G is a group and R is a commutative ring, the set of all functions from G to R with finite support form an R algebra with the convolution as multiplication. It is called the group algebra of G. The construction is the starting point for the application to the study of groups, if G is an algebraic group, then the coordinate ring of G is the Hopf algebra A corresponding to G. Many structures of G translate to those of A. An associative algebra over K is given by a K vector space A endowed with a bilinear map A times A A having two inputs and one output, as well as a morphism K A identifying the scalar multiples of the multiplicative identity. If the bilinear map A times A A is reinterpreted as a linear map A A A, then we can view an associative algebra over K as a K vector space A endowed with two morphisms satisfying certain conditions which boil down to the algebra axioms. These two morphisms can be dualized using categorial duality by reversing all arrows in the commutative diagrams which describe the algebra axioms. This defines the structure of a algebra. Nonunital algebras. Notes. There is also an abstract notion of f algebra, where f is a functor. This is vaguely related to the notion of algebra discussed above. Given any Banach space X, the continuous linear operators A, X X form an associative algebra. This is a Banach algebra, given any topological space X, the continuous real or complex valued functions on X form a real or complex associative algebra, here the functions are added and multiplied pointwise, the set of semi-Martin Gales defined on the filtered probability space T greater than or equal to zero P forms a ring under stochastic integration, the whale algebra. A representation of an algebra A is an algebra homomorphism ρ, A end from A to the endomorphism algebra of some vector space V. The property of ρ being an algebra homomorphism means that ρ preserves the multiplicative operation equals ρ ρ for all x and y in A, and that ρ sends the unity of A to the unity of end. If A and B are two algebras, and ρ, A and n tau, B and are two representations, then there is a representation A, B end of the tensor product algebra A, B on the vector space V, W. However, there is no natural way of defining a tensor product of two representations of a single associative algebra in such a way that the result is still a representation of that same algebra, without somehow imposing additional conditions. Here, by tensor product of representations, the usual meaning is intended, the result should be a linear representation of the same algebra on the product vector space. Imposing such additional structure typically leads to the idea of a Hopf algebra or a Lie algebra, as demonstrated below. Consider, for example, two representations, sigma, a, E, N, D, V, and, Tau, A, E, N, D, W. One might try to form a tensor product representation, Rho, X, Sigma, X, Tau, X, according to how it acts on the product vector space, so that the Clifford algebras, which are useful in geometry and physics, incidence algebras of locally finite partially ordered sets are associative algebras considered in combinatorics. However, such a map would not be linear, since one would have 4KK. One can rescue this attempt and restore linearity by imposing additional structure, by defining an algebra homomorphism delta, AAA, and defining the tensor product representation as 
Such a homomorphism delta is called a cumultiplication if it satisfies certain axioms. The resulting structure is called a bialgebra. To be consistent with the definitions of the associative algebra, the colgebra must be co-associative, and, if the algebra is unital, then the co-algebra must be co-unital as well. A Hopf algebra is a bialgebra with an additional piece of structure, which allows not only to define the tensor product of two representations, but also the HOM module of two representations. One can try to be more clever in defining a tensor product. Consider, for example, so that the action on the tensor product space is given by this map is clearly linear in X, and so it does not have the problem of the earlier definition. However, it fails to preserve multiplication. But, in general, this does not equal. This shows that this definition of a tensor product is too naive, the obvious fix is to define it such that it is anti-symmetric, so that the middle two terms cancel. This leads to the concept of a Lie algebra. Some authors use the term associative algebra to refer to structures which do not necessarily have a multiplicative identity, and hence consider homomorphisms which are not necessarily unital. An example of a non-unital associative algebra is given by the set of all functions f, r r whose limit as x nears infinity is zero.